Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from The African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating. So if you want to join me to create this, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started in today's design, what I want to say is Canva Pro is something I think you need if you want to, you know, um, increase to the next level because it, with Canva Pro, you're able to get a lot of things done when it comes to um, publishing content directly from Canva to your social media um, platforms, when it comes to resizing your design to several dimensions with a click with a click and um, when it comes to working with clients you need to add you know their media kits and stuff like that into canva pro so it helps you to even work with multiple clients um you know straight from the same account so if you need to try all of this i have a special link in the description box below that can help you to you know to try canva pro for free for 30 days without paying anything so I would highly recommend you check it out. So without any much ado, let's dive straight into Canva and let's get started with today's design. Okay, so you, as you can see on my screen, this is what we are going to be creating. So all I have to do is to click on the plus for a new fresh page. Okay, and um, the color code already is 181804. Okay, so that's the color code um i use for the background okay so the first thing we are going to do like you can see is to come into photos and in photos i would go into my recently okay i'm seeing this magic recommendations but um what you have to search for is maybe person standing in front of pine trees or you can search for hiking you can search for mountain climbing no this type of adventure stuff you can search for any of that so i can choose this one is that the same thing i use now okay so i position this here and i would you know drop it down like this and um i can also search for jungle or forest let's search for forest first okay so forest and you know there's so many interesting ones we have so i can also search for jungle i believe would be interesting yes like i said jungle would be interesting so i can choose maybe this one position it you know somewhere here increase the size okay and have it like this so i just do this and i just do that all right so now the next thing i would want you to do is to go to the element website which is element and search for gradient okay so once you search for it you'd find the gradient element i'm about to show you okay so um i just have to come into my uploads and uh, i have to scroll down i'm already down but yes yeah, so this is what you should be finding inside of the element website okay so i would position it here and i will drag it off up to this point and pl and place it just right here then i'll double click okay and drag it to the top so you can see how it's looking right now so let me just drag it down a little bit okay and i'll click on my photo and also drag it down a little bit uh -huh. something like this okay then what i would do is i would select the gradient come to edit image in edit image make sure you find dual tone click on it and choose any of the options so you click on it for the first time it applies the dual tone effect and click on it again with the same option okay so this is what you find come to highlight in highlight um, you can click on the plus icon and click on this uh, color picker then select the background color okay then all you have to do is to copy you know the color code come to shadows and click on the plus and paste it over here then click on apply so you can see how it's looking it helps us to have this fine um, you know gradient from the background to the image okay yeah so now I select the gradient element and I duplicate it. Then I would rotate it, you know, 180 degrees and position it, you know, right here. So this is what we have. And make sure it's, you know, on the edge of the photo. Okay. Okay. So that's what we have. Duplicate. Make sure everything is looking very, very fine. All right. So now the next thing. We are going to do looking at this the next thing we are going to do is to add 
um you know all of these frames and um text lights you know all of these fancy stuff okay so come to element in element you just have to go into shapes so click on shapes in shapes there are so many shapes there are actually so many shapes that we'll be looking for a parallelogram okay so i think one of those should be a parallelogram okay there's parallelogram left and you know so i think this is the one i used okay so i will select it and i would drag it this way okay so this is what i want you to do with the new update of canva when you add any shape you can quickly add text into it okay but that's not what i want to do so i would um make this you know the font size one so that when it comes to we increasing and you know reducing we can do that if the size of it was let's say 50 you realize that at a point you can't uh, reduce you know the size you know at a point you can't really reduce it and that's the reason why i want us to you know make the size one so this is just a simple trick uh, i had to come up with you know and it's been helping me and, and it's been so handy okay so that's it for now um change the color to white okay then what we are going to do next is we'll just duplicate okay so you can see what we did we just duplicated it and i will make this one black so black and i would you know just rotate it negative to position it right here okay so you can see how all of this is looking then what we are going to do is i would come into my uploads but you would have to go into the element website again and search for shadow okay so you would find you know a shadow like this particular element i have over here so i would you know um first of all i would reset the rotation okay and i would position this shadow over here let me lift it over here okay so i would increase the size of this shadow okay and you just have to do the same thing i'm doing and i would crop it because this is not a square for us to be able to have the sides also show you so i just crop it just to have the bottom shadow you know over here like this then i would you know position it here click on it increase the size then we stretch it over here because in canva you can't um apply shadows to ships you understand so that's the only way we can um you know do this okay then we select the two of them and group them okay together okay so that's the uh trick i came up with okay but i can see that you know there's this cutout part which you know we are trying to also avoid so um let me ungroup first okay then even though okay so let me just do this position here then i would crop and crop then i would move it to the top you know it's already beautiful select the two of them group them okay so i just group them and i think yeah this is beautiful then we rotate them nicely and this is what we have at the moment okay so once we do that we just now have to add our text okay so i will just come here and select the text okay so outdoor adventure copy and paste okay so that we don't waste any time okay so i just copy and paste position it here and i can just see outdoor so out door which i think is something very cool and easy to do okay so now this is what we are going to do come into your element in element search for the square shape we have over here once you add it okay leave it this way and make it rectangular so it means just increase the top a little bit like this then you come back okay and search for the frames okay so come to frames and you see this grid frame over here select it and you can see it's in the background so i just bring it forward okay then i would you know, crop it any way i want okay then i would you know like i was saying just crop it nicely position it here okay if i bring this here and i bring it to the front 
place it directly on top of the shape and uh, make sure it's centered beautifully okay so i will drop this down a little bit okay so i think this is looking very nice then i select the side of it change the color to white so this is what we have and um, looking at it you can see it's actually looking very interesting so what i did here was with the same uh, shadow okay so let's come back into my uploads and i'll choose the shadow again so this is it so i would select the shadow and because this is a photo once you drag it here it would replace you know it will just fail in the grid so we don't want to do that so make sure you don't do that okay so i crop my um shadow and i rotate it 180 okay then position it here increase the size okay and position it here then increase the size more position it here and send it to the top so you can see what we are doing over here okay so and i send it to the back so the thing is um with these frames for some strange reasons you are not able to group these two together so what we rather group is this and the shape okay so i select the two of them and i group them and i select all together and move it down over here so i will rotate it position it here duplicate it rotate it bring it here i can increase the size okay and send it to the back okay of the shapes and i can you know do the same again and maybe do this you know something like this and i would reduce the size a little bit more and have it here okay so maybe with this one i would you know have it like this move it here and um, this one would move like this okay so you can actually see we are getting somewhere but there's one issue over here i would ungroup this one because it's way in front is so obvious and i'll drop it down a little bit okay then i will just go back to group it and yes it's looking better now okay so now you just have to go into photos and you can drop any of these you know hiking just search for hiking just search for hiking and you'd find so many interesting images just drag and drop it you know in them so that's what you just have to do here just to make your design look interesting so you can see how it's looking right now so the next thing i went on to do is to add um you know these lights over here so i'll show you how i did them so just go back into the element website for you just what you have to do you just have to keep going there and um, search for light okay so i would come into my upload and i would scroll up because it's one of the recent things i added yeah so this is it so we add it then we position them anywhere at all we want but i'll position them you know at interesting areas so maybe something like this that i come here into edit image come into adjust c or and increase the blurriness okay then i will duplicate you know what's the heck what the heck is all this so select the light and duplicate it you know because you can position this one also here okay and maybe this one can be somewhere here and there was this fine one also over here which you'd find on the element website so i will paste it maybe somewhere here you know just to make our design look interesting okay then the next thing we i went on to do is to add all of these special things so this is a text and um the other thing is the shape the same shape we have which is the parallelogram okay so i will just duplicate it okay drop it down reduce the size no not the size of the gradient but the size of this one okay and i would stretch it out so something like this then i'll press t on my keyboard okay for you know the text because i'm using poppins i will change this to the samsung sans but you can use any other font with the samsung sans you wouldn't find it in canva so that's the thing 
so you can just find any other font that would suit your design so i think i'll change this one you know the color of this to any color i have so i would use the color picker and choose this color over here okay so this is what i have and maybe i can just use any text at all paste it over here maybe uh the best hiking experience X P R I E N C E experience in Africa. So you can also say you can also say whatever you uh, want to say, but this is what I want to have on mine. Okay, so I would you know position it here. It should be centered. Okay, so something like this. Then we just add all of these you know special text we have also. Okay. So you can see it's just very easy and very simple you know this is just a matter of adding the text and stuff so i'll change the color of this one also to the same color i have here okay then with this i just added a shape you know a circle and i added you know the text on top i think it's something you can do so i'm not going to walk you through the whole process just add the circle and please you know uh these dates on on it and that's it and maybe i'll change the color also you know to the brown i used okay so yes this is what uh we have been able to do in canva and you can see all of this looks a little bit downward for me like it looks too um it looks too much at the bottom so i would first of all lock you know the background stuff select all of this okay and i'll move it to the top then if they're too small i can increase the size okay and i think it should be looking fine right now so yes this is what um i was able to do in canva and these are the steps i used to be able to achieve this design and i hope you enjoyed it look there are so many canva tutorials i'm coming up with and i do not want you to miss any of them so what i will need from you is to hit on the subscribe button and the bell icon and also kindly support this video by hitting on the like button because it will help this video to be served to other people who would need you know to see a tutorial like this the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity the chicken is your friend and i'm also your friend don't forget uh, i will see you in my next tutorial <laughs>